Artificial intelligence and knowledge management are forming an exciting and fast-moving relationship that promises organizational transformational change on an unprecedented scale. In this video series, we offer some insights and a view of where we believe this dynamic relationship is most likely to be going. So buckle up and join us on this fun-filled, opportunity-rich ride. A good place to start this story is to go back to the beginning and to understand the difference between old knowledge management and new knowledge management. Back in the day, historians put this at around 1995, knowledge management was very much a document-centric activity focused on the organization of structured, explicit knowledge. And at that time, KM was largely owned and run by the folks in IT. This made some sense as KM was viewed as a system rather than a practice. And so a systems-based approach, driven by explicit knowledge bases, appeared to lend itself to IT as its natural home. But as we now know, this was a terrible mistake and it set KM back a decade due to the old enemies of knowledge management having a field day with trashing KM and its value proposition. You know the ones I'm talking about, the usual suspects, out of date content, many versions of the truth syndrome, poor search taking employees up to 33% of their day to find stuff, and only 10% of the findable stuff ever being used by employees with any confidence. The real tell from this part of the evolution of the KM story is that no one, not even knowledge managers, could give you a convincing explanation of the difference between data, information, and knowledge. Indeed, for IT departments, there was no difference. Today, however, in the world of modern KM, data, information, and knowledge are very different. And as we will see in this video series, AI has a different role to play in each case. And then there was, and for many companies still is, the biggest and baddest enemy of them all. The dark secret that no one wanted to talk about in the days of old KM, because it was bad for the business of KM systems vendors. And the IT departments, quite frankly, simply had no idea how to deal with it. I'm talking, of course, of the famous tacit explicit dilemma. The fact that it is now generally acknowledged that 80% of what any employee knows about their job is in their head and only 20% is ever codified. Thankfully, and happily today, in the world of modern KM, everyone is talking about this openly. It's no longer a dark secret. And this really is the important distinction between old KM, which was document-centric, and modern KM, which is people-centric. As we will see in the next videos in this series, the relationship between artificial intelligence and knowledge management will play out at three levels. Level one will be all about attacking the problems of old or traditional KM. Level two will be the first assault on the hard problem of knowledge management, namely converting tacit knowledge into more user-friendly explicit knowledge, as well as tackling unstructured explicit knowledge like email and chat. Level three will be the truly transformational level, as AI will draw out valuable tacit knowledge, then collate and analyze it in near real time across the entire organization to create the much sought after, connected, continuous learning company. Of course, this begs the question, what then will be the role of the knowledge manager once AI delivers level three? Well, all is to be revealed and much opportunity awaits. Certainly the role of knowledge manager is going to change with the coming of AI. But you'll be pleased to hear the opportunities abound. As the famous saying goes, AI is not going to take your job, but the person who knows how to use AI is going to take your job. So let's get after it and see you in the next video.